man. Yo, this one's really good. Five, yo. What's up, guys? We have some sausages. It sounded like a very, very bad impersonation of Kermit the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, it's been a while that I haven't heard the name. Yeah, it's my favorite <laughs> favorite character. All right. Well, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Uh, Whereas uh, Kermit the Frog is my favorite character from Sesame Street, my favorite group, Stray Kids. It's such a bad <laughs> introduction. <laughs> yeah. It's all because of you, man. <laughs> Today we're reacting to another sub unit song called Can't, Can't Stop. Stop. Never this time stop. with Vocal Racha. <sighs> we finally have Singmin and Ayan on the line here. Interesting thing about this one the Korean title reveals oh. a lot about what the song is going to be like. Think I like you. It can also have a nuance of, you know, I, I like you. I must like you a lot. Mm -hmm. Kind of nuance. So maybe this song is going to be a bit on the more of a like mellow, like a pop song intentionally mm -hmm. because it's too. vocal Russia to give more prominence to their vocal line. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the song may be a bit more, but who knows? Who knows? No. I'm just speculating here. The usual Stray Kids is going to be like, you know, Singmin and I is going to be, I think I like you. And then the song comes with Siren and hip hop coming in. <laughs> Felix with the bass notes yeah. and that full settle out of nowhere oh, and Bang Shan like dissing the haters <laughs> and Han with a super yeah. fast rap about why he likes you. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Can't stop. Oh, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Really? No. What? Oh. 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 What? Yo, the chord. Listen to the chord. Oh, uh, the like semitone, secondary dominant. Love that switch. Oh, what? Yo, oh, what the fuck? Yes. Ooh. You hear the guitar? Bam, bam, bam. They're doing the siren with the synth. Ooh. Oh, do you hear that? Yeah. Oh, yo, this is dope. Oh. I'm gonna turn this up. I'm gonna turn this up. Bum, bum, bum. So it's it's a it's a pop rock. Mm. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Yo. oh like the chord progression. Yeah. Yo. Oh man, yo, this one's really five. good. Yo. Yeah. Oh, what? Yo, oh. yo, this is so cool. Oh, they're playing a rock. That's very J-Rock. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Wedding. Man, this is. If... So they do have a bit of a. Oh, I'm. I'm in love with the chord progression here. Oh, the... Uh, oh, oh, wow! Oh. Tone rhythm. Very interesting how they mix that rhythm with this rock sound. Oh. Wow! Like this. 
Oh man. What the? F oh my god. Yo. Dang. You have to listen to this again right now. Like. <laughs> This was so yo, good. Yo. I think it's my first time actually like moving my whole body throughout the whole song. That's true. Yo. Usually you're just... Yo, yeah, because like I, I'm, I'm like, I was like stuck like this. But oh, this one I enjoyed. Yeah. Even like my foot nail. What? Enjoyed, like I don't know, but my whole body internal system enjoyed like my organs were dancing too. Shit. This was good. Did you expect this? No, I was wrong. Yo. This was... <laughs> Listen, well, I mean, we were kind of close in saying that we're going to hear something that is intentionally poppy. Pop rock, sort of. But we were naive to think for a second that Stray Kids would let things be just normal. When the song first started and we heard the J-Rock, K-Rock type of pop rock sound and the vocals came in, I was thinking, oh, okay, this is great. And the vocals are where the Stray Kids' color is shining through. They're playing with how they pile up the melody on top of the music. The vocal lines are very different. Mm -hmm. But then as the song went on, they started doing... Dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, oh, dum, da. Man, it was so much playing around with rhythms. Even the guitar. Usually J-Rock or pop rock, they're quite straightforward. So their mood really made us to go straightforward, like bobbing like, like this. Mm -hmm. But the rhythm going offbeat, you know, done. Dun, dun, dun. It's something that you usually don't put in any rock type of songs. And that was making it really modern. And just like you said, at the chorus part or something like that, they, they started using the Muma tone rhythm. Yeah. And they had the, the triplets like, yeah. da, 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 and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, and, you know, the, the pre-chorus part, they, when they start doing the, the tom, I, I could imagine, you know, the, the concert place. Uh, like, this, this is one of the this songs. This one's going to yeah, be. I think it was uh, TXT uh, the other time that, Made yeah. us feel uh, having like really, you know, on, like, this one's gonna be crazy whoa. live. The rhythm and the vocal line, all these things are, yes, like he always says, very innovative, different, refreshing. Always. But that's not to say that there weren't a number of very effective conventional patterns found in J rock or K rock or just general pop rock sound. For example, the way the chord progresses is mm. very predictable, but it's it's very magical. Um, I think yes. it's been a while since I didn't do these music terms, but <laughs> I think the term is secondary dominant. What I heard was they changed what's supposed to be a minor third into major third. And it, it, it gives that weirdly optimistic, but a sappy sound. Mm. And you hear that a lot in many J-Rock sounds. Uh, for that effect and there's many of those there's one yeah. in the opening even when the chords are going down and you hear that and even bridge change. part two exactly it was, bridge was completely different mm -hmm. so if you listen to this song and felt like ooh, something very touching about it yeah that might be the chords mm. power there it's a very under uh, i think it's very under uh, appreciated i love that chord change yes um and I think that the verse part was like the first part of the verse, the chord change was like really, it's a little touchy. And then you, you, you give the relief, you know? Yeah. There's like the chord change of, you know, being uh, straightforward. And then I think it was bridge or something else that was the opposite. Opposite. So, you know, like the straightforward um, chord line was in the front. And then at the back, they were giving a little bit, becoming emotional. Yeah. And then the main chorus comes in. Mm. Right away, you run. You drive. Woo! Dang. I loved how it started like uh, Neon Cat. It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> if you listen to it. Mm, like the chant. Yeah, and you hear that with the synth as well. Mm. Oh, and like you mentioned, you know, the, the, the during, I mm. think it was verse, that uh, Hoover yeah. synth, yeah. you know, coming yeah. in. It's, it's something like melodical, but it was keep going at the back. Like I enjoyed the song way too much that I forgot how their voices were. Oh, and, it was and rock solid. Like, I know it, it was perfect, but... They like, sang so well. Yeah, like, it was just way too good that I can't even it's comment true, on it. I was just in, in the concert. I but was, I, was just I, think, I think that's okay, because one thing I actively try to do uh, with Stray Kids is not to categorize them into vocal dance or right, right. Uh, rap, just because they can do 
all those things. Every mm. single one of them. Singmin and I can rap. They can dance. They can sing. They can produce whatever. They can do whatever they want. So just because it's vocal racha, I don't really feel guilty if I don't prioritize their singing mm -hmm. because I'm sure they're involved in making this song as well. So this song itself is uh, representing Singmin and I, mm -hmm. and it is representing Stray Kids. And I don't really try to separate, you know, dance to rappers to. They do it all, man. It's just it's just a label. Vocal racha. I mean, they're still stray kids, and mm -hmm. that's what makes it special. So, and it was giving so much positive vibe. My mood today just went really up. Yeah. Thank you, stray kids. You know, like, thank you. This was good. Fuck. At the end of the day, this is still to me stray kids sound, and that's what makes it really, really good. <sighs> it's not nano chuana, but nano chuahe. You know. Yeah. 존나 사랑해. You know, like. Yeah. 너밖에 없어. Yeah. I think it's becoming like obsession. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'm going to throw this <laughs> mic stand out if it keeps everybody's noticing it now. I think this is the last subunit song of the mm. album. If you think the order matters at this point, let us know of your recommendation and we'll try our best to uh, stick to the one that has been most frequently recommended. If not, we'll just choose whatever we want, but let us know if you do want to have a say in that. And I guess that's it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. I just felt like saying it. Yeah, you too. Yeah. Man. You too. <laughs>